Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. Check it out, I am in Octane, finally. I'm on a PC now. I should have done this years ago, but here I am. I'm absolutely loving it. So this is my first tutorial in Octane, and this is a part two. We showed you subsurface scattering last time and how to do it in Cinema 4D. And this one's gonna be a lot quicker because in Octane it's really, really fast. So let's make a new material. I have my Octane materials up here, but you can also go to Material, and here are your different options. So we have Diffuse, Glossy, Specular, and Mix. Um, for subsurface scattering, if we did a glossy one, we have all these different options, but we do not have, let's change it to diffuse, we have transmission and medium. If we do a glossy one, we do not have those. So it needs to be either diffuse or specular. But we're going to use a diffuse material and we'll throw that onto our uh, dragon here. So what we're going to be doing is adding a base color and we'll make that blue make that a dark blue just like in the previous tutorial something like that and now all the subsurface scattering is going to happen in the transmission and the medium channels so let's go to transmission and let's just pick the color that we want to have the brighter color on the edges so we'll make it a light blue so something like this and we'll hit OK and you can see that already just with a couple clicks we're already getting that subsurface scattering alright so in the transmission tab we have the color and then we could add a texture, but if we want to take this lighter color and manipulate where on the model it goes, so if you want it further out on the edges, we're actually going to go to the medium channel. And we're going to add a scattering medium. So click on scattering medium. And you can see that it's already changed. So just the horn and the teeth and the further edges are being affected. So if we go into here, we have the density tab. And this is at 100%. And obviously, the more dense it is, the less light is going to pass through here. So if we take the density and drop it down, we're going to start getting more light passing through the edges. So that is how you would kind of manipulate the density of this model and how much of that kind of brightness shows up on the edges. So that's how you would do that in the medium channel. Just add a scattering medium and play with your density. So that's basically it for subsurface scattering in Octane. It's really, really easy to set up uh, a lot faster than in Cinema 4D, and it looks really cool. I will be back with more Octane tutorials as I get more comfortable in the program and start learning some new things. So until next time, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.